everyone, and welcome to this week's Tech Cookie. As always, I hope this recording finds you and your family well. And what I thought I'd focus on today was one of the many services we offer that not everybody may be aware of, and that is that we offer uh, consumer reports and access to their website for free, that, and you can access it from your home. So if you currently have a, uh, a, Mon a Montville library card and you're subscribing to Consumer Reports, stop! Because there's no reason to. We provide you the access for free with your library card. So I just thought I'd show you how to access that today and show you a couple of the key features on the website. So here I am on our homepage, and I'm just going to click Access Our Digital Services below. And if I scroll down... Here's our link to Consumer Reports. So I'm just going to go ahead and click there. And then I just have to enter in my library barcode. So just give me a moment to do that. Okay. And then I'm taken to this screen here, and I just simply click on Consumer Reports. And it will take a moment to load. And here I am. So I have full access to the website. It's not like a limited version or a, uh, or a partial version. It's the whole thing, just like a subscriber would get. And you can, of course, search for anything you want up here using the search bar. You can also look at an alphabetized list of everything they've reviewed on the website. Um, it's extensive, as you'd imagine. Um, I thought today I would just focus on... An example. Um, so I thought I'd take a look at dishwashers. And you notice as I click dishwashers here, I get a couple options. Um, I can look at recommended dishwashers first. So this will just give me the list of those that they recommend in different categories. So we have an 18 inch category, and then we have also a 24 inch, the more common category. I could see they're sorted by score. So this model here is their top rated, and I get the price. You even get links for shopping. Um, so it's pretty uh, comprehensive. Um, but then there's even more. So if I go into, let's say I just click this listing here. Um, you get ratings for predicted reliability. You get the survey results from, you know, Consumer Reports Classic Survey that they send out to customers to get their perspective. Um, you get features and specs. So that's nice if there's like a particular feature you're looking for and you're wondering if it has it or not, you can check here. Um, here's those shopping links that we mentioned. And then you've also got user reviews. And so in this case, we have 91 reviews. So that's significant. Um, you're gonna get pros. So what uh, positive reviews mention the most. So in this particular case, a lot of people like the quiet operation on this dishwasher. And then we'll also get the cons, and the number one con comment was can't master controls. So pretty neat. Now there's also even more things you can do. If we go back to ratings, and then we go back to dishwashers up here, and then we go to dishwasher ratings, which will be all of them, top to bottom. I'm just gonna take a moment to load that list. Um, what I really like, in this view is that you can do comparisons. So let's say I wanted to compare the top rated dishwasher. I would just click on this link here that says add to compare. And then I, let's say I wanted to compare it to this KitchenAid dishwasher here. I would just click add to compare there. Then I scroll all the way to the bottom of this very long list of dishwashers. And at the bottom, I've got my compare button. So I just click on that. And now I can actually see these two models side by side, their overall score, how they've rated in these different categories, their cycle time, etc. So if like there's a couple you're interested in, we want to compare like uh, one in one price category versus another or different brands, you could do it very easily with the website. So in some ways, I think the website is actually more useful than the old paper uh, uh, pr uh, printed version because it allows you to do these dynamic comparisons and it allows for user reviews and other content like that. Um, 
Beyond the product reviews, you've also got some other features on this website. So if we just scroll back up. So we have news. Um, and this gets updated pretty frequently. As you can see, I'm recording this on the 18th of June. And there were already a couple of uh, articles. One, two, three, four, five, five posted just yesterday. So um, they give you a lot of information that's timely beyond their ratings. Here's an example here. So HBO recently uh, uh, announced a new service called HBO Max. And that can be confusing because there's regular HBO and then there's something called HBO Go. And then there's something called HBO Now. Now there's something called HBO Max. So if you click on this article, they're going to give you the rundown and sort of how you can access it. The differences between these other existing services that HBO had. So just a tremendous amount of useful information here. You can understand why people are willing to pay a yearly subscription for it. But because you have a Montville library card, you get to join the select group that does not even have to pay anything for it. So I definitely recommend this resource, uh, especially as hopefully our economy begins to reopen and uh, people get out there and start shopping again. This is an obviously great tried and true resource. And so that's what I have for you this week. And I will see you again next week with another tech cookie and take care. Bye-bye.